All right, so this is video to show you how to cure, salt and cure your hides. Um, I'm gonna be doing it with rabbit hides. You can do this with whatever hide you want. Um, the kit I'm using is a, I'm just gonna grab the little paper here. This is the kit I'm using. Basic home tanning kit. Bought this at Sportsman's Warehouse uh, here in Utah. Um, so yeah, gonna be doing that. Um, what I'm using for crystals or salt is this tanning crystals, which you can see right here. Um, hopefully my lighting is a little better. Let me see if I can use this flashlight. It might help a little. So here it is. Tanning crystals. Um, they're made from ammonium, alum, sodium formate, and sodium chloride. That's what this is made out of. So you can use that as well. Now the thing is, to, in order to make this mix, you take flour and water. So it's three parts flour, three parts water, and one part salt, or tanning crystals here. So my part that I am doing is one-fourth a cup of uh, whatever. So the important thing is that it's three parts of water and flour to one part of the crystals, and that's the main thing. So anyhow, I'm going to dump this in just so you see me do it, because you may think I'm using some other special formula. So let's just fill this up with salt. I'm going to call it salt just because that's really all it is to me, but maybe there's more to it than that. So, filling up the container with this salt. As you can see, I'm using ru rubber gloves. Just want to mention that because I think it's important when you're dealing with wild animals that you protect yourself from any kind of disease that you might possibly get from them. Rabbits tend to have some... So I've washed these hides once, and I'm going to salt them, and then I will wash them again. And I'll wash them again just to get the salt out, and I'll clean it, and then the final step of, uh, you know, final step of getting it nice and clean. So in goes the salt, and after you get all that in there, it's important that you you know, mix it up. So I'm going to use my fingers just because I don't really care about my fingers when I'm wearing gloves. So I could use a tool, obviously, some kind of knife or whatever, but I'm just going to do it this way. And so this is going to create a paste. And with this paste, we're going to put it on the hides after we've defleshed them. Because I still have some flesh that's on these hides that got stuck, you know. They're still somewhat thick. So I'm going to go through the process of doing that as well. This is uh, my second time doing this. I'm not a pro, said it before, but um, I think I know kind of what I'm doing. If I don't, please comment in the section below and just mention, you know, this could be done better or that, you know, I'm open for criticism. Um, but yeah, just make sure you comment and tell me what I'm doing wrong because I hate continuing to make my same mistakes over and over like an idiot. So, after we mix this crap up, I'm using wheat flour. This is my first time using wheat flour. The other time I used white flour. And <laughs> I think it doesn't matter, but you never know. Maybe it does. I don't think it matters, though. Because I think the flour is just there to help dry out the hide, so it helps absorb moisture. Anyhow, so this is getting good. This is pasty. It's really thick right now. Um, I'm probably going to leave this on the side now. Get my hand washed off. That's why I've got these paper towels here, because I don't want to be too mucky. I know I'm going to get mucky doing this, but I just prefer to be somewhat clean while I'm doing it. So, um, what we've got here, hopefully, is a bunch of rabbit hides that are be thawed. <laughs> I left them out in the snow and they're actually really quite frozen. This is not good. So that's not happening. 
I will come back to this in a little bit after these dethaw. All right, so finally got these dethawed. Here's Jackrabbit, Cottontail, 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 I believe. Cottontail, Cottontail, and Jackrabbit. Tail is much bigger. So we've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six Cottontails, two Jackrabbits. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to start with the cottontails. Um, I'm guessing this should be fairly easy to do. So, um, first thing is, I dethawed these. Um, I had them frozen. If you want to hold off on doing this, freeze your hides. But getting them dethawed is somewhat of a pain. Um, I just used hot water, uh, heated them up so they dethawed, and then uh, I ran I just squeezed them. And got the water out. I did not wring them out. I've heard you don't want to wring them out. It does bad things to the fur. So let's begin. Um, things I've got here. I've got some tacks. Um, if you want to do this yourself, you're going to want to get a piece of plywood. It's fairly cheap, I believe. And then these little tacks. And these are what you're going to use to pin down your your hide to the to the board. And then you're going to put some of that paste after you deflesh it. So first we need to flesh it, but we're going to pin these down first. So um, let's get started with that. So I'm going to move this out just a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to be using my nice knife here because it's sharp and it should get through these sides fairly easily. Because I'm going to open them up and uh, that's how I'm going to pin them down. Because right now they are just a tube. Because we took them straight off the the animal. Just want to find out where its arms are so I can find where the chest is. I believe that's an arm there. Oh, it's a hind leg. So hopefully it's going to be easy to find these on the cottontails. I haven't done a cottontail yet. First one I started with is jackrabbit because I figured do the big ones first. So. There's the chest. It's got the uh, the white fur, and so what I'm going to do is just go and cut this, and you can see cutting it open. And as I go, I will just put more fingers here and slice. I also want to try out another one of my blades here I've got, which is supposed to be good for this. So, easy enough done. There's one cottontail hide. It's all wet. It's got a little bit of blood in it, I think, still, but we'll still wash it off again. And we're going to want to pin this down now. I'm going to try and make as much room here as possible, because I want to get all these on this one board. It, and I think that's possible to do. Just got to be somewhat conservative about where I put these. So, I'm thinking something like that.
Jackrabbit then. So pin that down. Good to go. Um, next one. So here we go. Gotta find out where those front hind legs are, find the chest, and cut open the chest. This time I want to use a different knife. I just feel like using this because I haven't used it yet. It's a swing blade. Swing blade from Outdoors Edge. And so these are supposed to be nice for opening up hides, deer hides and stuff. It's got a razor blade here. Razor blade knife on it. And so I haven't used it yet. Figure I'd use it on one of these because be a good test. I haven't used it. I haven't tested it. I haven't seen it perform. So, all right. So, it's these things say they open up like a zipper. So, let's show off that ability. Then, well, that's crazy. It's starting to rip already, just from me grabbing it. Okay. So, would you look at that? <laughs> wow. It does actually open it like a zipper. Just goes right through it. Unzipped that hide. Let's actually go and just take care of each one of these and then I'll pin them down. So, next one. Just gonna find out where those front legs are on this sucker. Where are they at? This one actually has a lot of flesh. I think the first one I did didn't have a whole lot of flesh on. This one's got a whole ton of it. I mean, you can see a bunch right there. So, where are the hind legs? Unless they got ripped off in the process of skinning it, which is possible. Fur right there. Well, there's an air pocket in that one. I'm not finding it, so let's look for the white then. Okay, the white's right there. So, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Slice right through that sucker. Voila! Oh, that was an interesting hide. That one must have got skin kind of funky. I know some of them do.
Well, that's a whole lot of freaking work <laughs> to do that many hides. Um, I hope that doesn't take too long to show you guys. I'm going to put it in fast forward. And so you shouldn't have to sit here all day trying to figure out what's going on. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the paste I've got here that has salt in it. And uh, I'm just going to start applying it to each hide. Simple as such. You know, just some of these have some holes in them. Um, you saw me cutting pieces of the hide off. It's because I didn't see any use of having that piece. Because ultimately, if it's not gonna, if it's not gonna be part of the final thing. I just chopped it off because it's gonna just take more work to pin it down. So I just tried to cut my losses and uh, pin down as many places as I could on this hides on the hides here. So sorry if that didn't make any sense to anyone. Just wanted to clarify that. Um, just so what can I say um, we're curing the hide um, this process is important because it's going to help keep the fur attached to the hide so I don't care if I get this on the fur it's not going to cause a problem the main thing is we're going to get all this moisture out of it all the oil out of it and man these thumbtacks are actually kind of bothering me after doing so many, I mean, I had to put at least 50 of these in. Start hurting your thumb as you're tacking them in. So, <laughs> that's what I was doing during the video. Hurting myself, trying to put these in for you guys to see. So, okay, so one's done. Move on to the next one. Easy enough. Um, I tried to get out a good amount of the flesh. Um, I defleshed as much as I could, and if there was extra fat on pieces that I figured I was going to cut off anyways, I just chopped them off. And so you probably saw that. These should be pretty good. Um, it should just require me to salt it maybe once or twice so it'll dry it out. As soon as it's dried out, I'm probably going to scrape it. Um, just try and get any extra crap out of the hide. Any fleshing that I missed that maybe is required for the hide to be complete. Um, so, yeah, I'm just doing that. I might just fast forward now because you get the idea. Basically cover each hide with the paste. Well, all done. That's the excess. So, um, if you want to do this yourself, it's easy to do. I hope this helps someone understand better how to do their tanning. The, it's not a whole difficult task. Um, clearly, if you're doing like a bobcat or something, you want to get the whole hide. Um, these are just jackrabbits, but it gives you a basic idea of what to do. Anyhow, um, hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe if you did. Um, I've got more of this that I plan to do. Hunting and trapping and all different stuff of the kind. Um, please subscribe. Just helps me to know that people are watching. They like the videos. Please comment if you have any ideas as to how I could do this better. Because this is one method of doing this. Um, this is for curing the hides. Salting them. So if 
you have some good ideas, please comment so others can learn um, from that method. What I've used here is uh, a kit, like I said, the kit is, uh, is the basic home tanning kit that you can get from, I got it from Sportsman's Warehouse down in Utah, but I'm sure there's many other kits that people use for curing hides. It's mostly just the salt and, you know, drying out the hide. So if you've got some normal method that doesn't actually cost any money, I'd like to hear it. It's always good to learn and know of econo economical ways to do this. But yeah, I'll show you how these guys finally turn out. I'm still going to have to oil them up afterwards, which you'll see too. I'll try and film that just so you can see. And then I want to make some kind of clothing out of it. Anyhow.